is Jeva Grozulevičiūtė. I am a backend developer here at Vinted. I've joined Vinted a little bit more than two years ago. I learned C Sharp, my first programming language at my previous work. I started there as a quality assurance specialist and I told my colleagues that I would like to learn to code, so they started teaching me and uh, that lasted for a couple of months for, until I learned the basics and then I started doing little coding assignments at work. It was very hard to learn the programming language the first time, but it was much easier with Ruby because I already had the programming basics. I learned a little bit of Python and Haskell, but I never got to use those at work. I think programming languages are a little bit like natural languages, like uh, in the movie Arrival, there was this idea that uh, the language you speak does not only helps you to express your thought, but it also determines the thoughts you have. And I think uh, similarly with programming languages, uh, the more languages you know, the sort of wider your mindset, the approaches that you can have to a problem. I didn't really know much about Ruby before joining Vinted. My former colleagues were afraid that uh, this is a dynamically typed language, I like C-sharp, so it could be very brittle and dangerous. And my future colleagues were kind of excited about the language and they said that they enjoy working with it. I had a one-month vacation between the jobs, so to make my anxiety easier, I just made a rule for myself that I will study anything Ruby related for one hour a day. And after that, the, when I started the job, I already had the Ruby basics, so it was more about learning the domain, learning the infrastructure. I think some people could say that Ruby is bad for scale when there's a lot of people working with it. But I think if you structure the code well and you stick to other good programming practices, that is not really an issue. We build teams from people that are experienced and can share the best practices, can spot obvious mistakes and pull requests, can share the standards that Vinted has, and of course to document the practices, share them with newcomers and so on. Some time ago I tried to get back to C Sharp just to do a random coding at home, and I realized how uh, complex it is and a lot of unnecessary code you need to write to do anything. And with Ruby, you can be more engaged with the code you're writing because you're only writing the code to solve the problem. When I moved to Vinted, I learned a lot of things. So the Ruby language itself, all the tools that comes with Ruby, the Rails framework, the active record object relational mapper, and also the popular messaging tool Kafka. Vinted uh, is also a great place to improve your SQL knowledge. Engineering at Vinted is really tightly coupled with other domains like product and design and analytics. And I find it very unique and valuable because for me as an engineer, it gives a better understanding of why I have to do things, not only what things I have to do. Uh, having an analyst in a team is a completely new thing for me. It's very interesting to see how the code you write influences the user experience through data. I think and understanding why you do things uh, gives you two things. One is motivation, because you're not just like a blind soldier or code coding monkey doing something. And it also gives you better understanding of how to solve the problems because you have the context and when you need to make a decision, that context really helps. I'm working in payments domain with how the money moves in Vinted, and it is a very complex domain. So the complexity of the domain is a main challenge because there are a lot of different ways how the money can move and a lot of integrations to support that money movement. As my colleague said about his workplace at Vinted, we process as many requests per minute as they did in his previous job per month. So that's a huge difference in scale. 